Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share yet another ba background technique with you. And um, this one is actually a fun technique. I don't even remember where I saw it. I saw it a long time ago. Um, I haven't done it in a while, so I've been playing with background techniques because I'm doing this little journal project and I wanted some different techniques for the back of my page. I also really love using background stamps. I like having a softly stamped image that I can overstamp or I can use to um, as a background to mats. So what I'm doing is um, I'm taking chunks of rubber from leftover um, stamp sets. So for my clear stamp sets, you get these things. And I don't throw them away because I always know I can find some use. Like I know that these might make perfect um, sponging thing like masks or something but I also love the curves on this I thought these curves would actually make a really pretty background stamp and I have seen this done before I think they were trying to create an animal print I'm not necessarily trying to create an animal print but it's kind of a fun idea so I've taken my largest background stamp and I cut up two of these sets of um, leftover like rubber from the clear stamp sets and I just cut them into pieces, took the paper off the back and basically I've attached them to the largest one. Now I'm going to treat this just like any other giant stamp and I'm going to ink it up while it's upside down just like this. And um, I think I'm going to try and put my paper, I just have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is smaller than my paper. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to really lean on it and press. Just so it really gets evenly distributed. And I'm not wiggling it, I'm just leaning on it and pressing. And when this comes up, I'm going to have to use my fingers and peel it off. And ooh, I love this. That's a really fun background. It really does look like an animal print background. That's going to make a really fun card. So I could do this. Maybe I could um, use the one of the jungle sets, or I have the Henry Says with the elephant, or maybe even some pretty grasses in the front. But I'll find something great to do with that. So there's a fun technique that you can use. And I'll just use my um, Stampin' Scrub, clean this off, and then I will save all of those pieces in um, a plastic container. And every time I do this, I'm going to get a different pattern because it'll be a different set of leftover pieces that I put together in a different way. So that's a really great background. So if you want more tips and techniques and great ideas, stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com. If you haven't signed up for my mailing list, make sure you do so. Um, at stampingimperfection.com you get three free videos with some really cool tips and techniques that I made exclusively for my mailing list subscribers. I send out about three or four um, newsletters every month with some great project or tips and techniques. And... Um, I also have some classes on my website if you're interested. Check those out. StampingImperfection.com. Thanks for watching.